I didn't even get a mile from the house on my way to camp this morning. Had an eight point buck run across the road in front of me. Pretty cool. What's up folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Tomorrow's the opening day of Pennsylvania firearm season and I am on my way down to my cousin's camp in the Allegheny Forest. Uh, so excited to spend some time with these guys and relax. Everybody's on the way there now. Uh, once we get there, everybody will check out their spot probably real quick and uh, go ahead. We're going to make a big bonfire outside, have a couple beers, talk, tell stories, and just uh, catch up. So looking forward to a great weekend. Weather's supposed to be ideal. Uh, Mid-20s in the mornings, high like 40 or 41. So I think deer will be moving a little bit later in the day and uh, hopefully we'll cash in on some buck this week. What's happening? The uh, bush light elf is here. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I was talking about the other little fur ball. That? Well, I take her everywhere with me. <laughs> I figured you'd say, you know, fuck it. Um, oh, what's up, guys? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's, what's up, man? How are you? I'll take What you doing? I had a large coffee this morning and I peed 17 times oh, on the way down here. Isn't that fun? I've barely made it in here. Got on my truck and I got for five minutes straight. Yeah, literally, I stopped a lot. That was like, oh, that's not good. Where do you want me to put this for now? Leave it outside for now? Oh, shit. Cool. Yeah. I thought you were supposed to get the 36 today. Yeah, I think we're at the high right now. I mean, this whole weekend, I don't think it's getting much more. Oh, my God, the weather's going to be awesome for temperature. You see, that's 22 tonight. Yeah. It's going to be chilly in the morning. Good day to sleep in, Jason. Yeah. I'm going to keep farting on Jason. I figure I might get to sit with Dad for a while. Oh, I would. I'm in. Oh, he got the hunt. Eight days. That's good. You know me. I love doing that. Like yeah. me and you that day. You know, that's so much fun. You know, a pair of hey, guys, binoculars. What's up, dude? Walk you, you are walking so good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. My dad says his love. That's because he just oh, took a shit and he's lighter. <laughs> lighter in your shoes right now. I am. Light on my feet. There's some bush light in the very bottom that you're looking for. Do you want me to throw those? No, no. Here, in the very bottom? See? Oh, oh there. There you go. Do you want me to throw those in here? Yeah, we could if you want. And just that I'll way throw that 30 pack in there. Doesn't matter. And then there's one in here. They're not going to last, yeah. I got some in the cooler out there, too, so. Yeah, when did you guys get down here? Maybe an hour and a half ago for me. Yeah, uh, it must have been around 9.30 or so. 9.40. About 10. Yeah. It's funny how I get about 30 minutes away from here and it's a truck. truck oh, yeah. Truck, yeah. Truck. yeah. It's just nonstop, yeah. you know. Yeah. There was traffic this morning, but it was moving good. And it was all right. trucks heading north yeah. naturally. So. Yeah. And it goes, and then they logged, even when you walk in that log road where Scott used to go, you know, before we went down to my spot, they logged even that top and they stopped. So they, there again, the only woods is the hall that I hunt, my old buck stand with Scott and Jason and I got ours. And then it's good until you get about a quarter of the way up that grade before that other log run I like. And that would, they logged all that shit too. When we came down here, it was 10 to 11 on a, that Monday when it was raining, Stan and Steve and I driving. And that's when we seen that monster with a doe and another small rack buck. We're just getting ready to cross to go in, would have walked right past probably my tree in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was a old man. <laughs> and then you hit him twice. Yeah. Oh, I watched that thing hit him. I'm like, oh, you got him. He comes like, dropping. He stops three yards away. Just thought, I'm like, boom. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> Why? I'm like, yeah. I wanted to shoot my gun. He's down now. I said, I That's wish a 300. I that when that buck that jumped my string, which would have shot a second time. You never know. It's a 300. If a 300 will put him down or not. <laughs> and he did just look just like mine. He grabbed that son of a bitch and clip, here he went his antler right in his hand. <laughs> that was so weird. The two buck did the exact same thing down there. In that hole, yeah. 
And that one, my big one, did the same thing. Did it? Yeah. I went to roll it over to get a picture, like, oh my god, and I went, Pink. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the woods. I didn't even get a picture of him with this whole wreck. Telling someone to hold it out here. Now spread a little farther. No, it's nice. no, it's nice. We're trying to get here. Right? He was 13. Now he's 19 and a half. That's some justice of yours. Yeah. What are you thinking for tomorrow? Where? What do you got in your pl uh, big plan of tricks? I mean, the only thing that I was thinking was going back where you guys had sent me where your spot was in Bear Creek. Awesome. But. Remember I showed you guys that bench that I found mm -hmm. a couple years ago? Yeah, all that's, I, that's, yeah. So about 250 yards further out on that point, probably about the same elevation, it comes off of the top with all the laurel and it drops down in and there's this bench that's about 60 yards wide. And then right at that bench, it drops down like mm -hmm. 30 yeah, yards, exactly like super you, steep. Yeah. And then there's like a 20 yard bench right below it. And then it drops off like a hundred yards mm -hmm. straight down. And right on that bench, where I'm looking at the flat above me that slowly goes up, and the bench down below me right there, 20 yards below, mm -hmm. I know it's gotta be a funnel. Uh -huh. There's two heavy trails coming across there. Those trails have been there since we've hunted here. Yeah. So I was thinking about sitting right where I can look down on that skinny bench oh. below me and look at the bench up above. I'll just have to wait until first light and kind of Pick a tree that I've got. Well, we're going lanes. for a walk now. If you, why don't you zip down there real quick and go for a walk? They yeah. open that road up a lot nicer Did now they? too. Yeah, so it's just so far back in there. Yeah. I'd rather drink. <laughs> I would too. That's why I want to. You want to go? Yeah, I'll go. There's no doubt about it. I think that deer will travel along that. So I was thinking on Sunday that I'd go in there, but I want to know what Forest Service Road gets me closest to that point. <laughs> um, and you had showed me one of those last year, but I think that one's way too far away. Well, well, are you guys going to do that? Let's go look for that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. He sets a good one on camera out there, so I don't think... That'd be nice. That one, I bet you sent me some of those pictures. Holy moly. That one you have at night. That the long, that, that one with the time. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, kind of, that, that one's sick. Yeah. And the other ones are, I mean, really, yeah. I like the one with the crab claws on it. That was cool. That was that close one coming out. That was yeah. a really nice picture. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a new one? Oh, yeah. He's thick, man. Yeah, oh, my God, yeah. That's every bit as big as that one. And that was just the other day, you said? Yeah. Do you have a cell in there? Yeah. Those are cool. Those my are other, so my cool. other one died. Battery-wise, probably? I guess so. Oh, that's the one you like. Yeah. I mean, look. Get the neck on that phone. Yeah, that's what I mean. But look, every one of those times is as long as the last little. There's three of them. Those are 12, 14 inch times. Right. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that's big one. I said, look at the shoulder on that son of a bitch. I was like, I don't look. That's what I'm thinking. I better take 300. I don't think the odd six will work. Yeah. <laughs> In there. There's been nobody in there the last couple of years. I've seen evidence of like one or two guys in there. That's that's I, it. I think that's why they opened that road up. That's that's uh, um, paper company property. Uh huh. And I think they want they they want people to get in there. They want people to kill the deer in there. Gotcha. It's just amazing that they open these roads up. You know they have to for deer season to get everybody in there. If they didn't, people would never hunt some of these places. Never get back. In no. The average age of a hunter in Pennsylvania is my age, 57, 58 years old. Yeah, they're not gonna do that walk up. I can't do it anymore. I mean, it's not. Yeah, this is one of the ones I had marked too. Now, Spring Gobbler, we have to park here at the parking lot. We walk, oh, gotcha. we walk this road. So it's but, only open deer But you season. can see on the road where turkeys are scratching. And, right. You know, turkey, turkey scat. Just amazing to me how much better job Pennsylvania does with forest management and clear cuts than New York. New York really? doesn't do anything. It's so frustrating. Better be. I've told him since he was a little kid, my share goes to him. That's awesome. You know, everybody says, oh, you got your camp, that's worth, a... I said, camp ain't worth a penny because it's never going to get sold. Right. You yep. know? There's a, it's only worth something if you put it on the market. That right. camp's never going on the market. Well, think about all the memories that you guys had there. And not all hunting and fishing. Huh. Golf and snowmobile and parties and bachelor parties and 
just, just a weekend just to be away. Right. Ladies. Howdy ho. You have you're you did all right for a hunter. That I found in the woods. Yeah. Nice. It's a good hunter. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's been cold too. So. Like, wait a second. <laughs> he got a six point. Glistening in the sun. Guess what I saw? One of our big ones. He He jumped up. Well, we had seen two right be huh, before that. Yeah, two does. Two. Yeah, we couldn't really tell the second one. I came across and I said, oh, I can run right back here by the strip. And we can go another 20 yards on this trail walk. And Jace goes, there's a buck staring at us. I'm like, what? I'll go over there. Nice one. Yeah, it was nice. nice. He was real nice, actually. Oh, that's a good sign. He didn't have to expect it to base your tree. Well, he left. By the way, please don't shoot. Don't shoot me in here. I'll give you this. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> he left that by Sean's stand. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can't we all get along? It's kind of the deal we worked out for right now. I was telling Jimmy that that big buck that I shot last year has got like 21,000 views. Mm -hmm. My second video got 20,000 views. PA hunt camp last year. No way. I was sitting around talking, shooting the shit, and doing some hunting shit. He's got over 20,000 views from 20,000 people got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy sent me like three days ago a YouTube link, and he's like, what the hell is this? And I open it up and it's 2019 Buck Camp. Oh, His is brother it? sent it to him. He was just watching YouTube videos yep. of deer hunting and he recognized me because I'm like in like the first like three seconds of it. He sends right. it to him. He's like, what the hell is Jason doing on a <laughs> YouTube video for Pennsylvania deer hunting? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Why you, that's why you videotape for like three days and we get yep. five minutes worth of video. Yep. <laughs> There's enough shit Let's wood. Come up in January. That's what I say too. There's enough shit wood to cut. We can make a style. That way you don't have to worry about ticks and stuff. Jace, you need it. I'm good. I'm good. Get our trailer. I'll bring, I'll bring the side by side up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you bring your side by side. I'll bring the tractor with forks. Alright. You know what I'm saying, Jace. Just, we use outside wood more than anything. We How long would it take us to cut there. some. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Six foot. Six footers. Cut six foot lengths and fork them up here and then decide what we want to do. Yep. Did you know that right now I'm videotaping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've yeah. been videotaping forever. <clears throat> do you see Chase's fly wide open? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I hope you zoom He's trying in. to put the on the camera. That thing, that thing don't have a 14X. <laughs> 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 Hey, if you get one down on here, on I, I just told Jimmy. It. But, and he sent it you know to the, me. The camp but I didn't pick it up to all of Zip it out and tag it. Uh, yeah, don't be a hero. I know, I get There's I enough get of us in this race. Jace, come back. It'll lay. Right. Then we'll yeah, come back. We'll run as a group. You can call me at 715 and say you got one. Come out. And I've realized it's about camp, dude. You know that. And that's killed deer. So you realize it as you get older and you go yeah, through it that it's about the experience yeah. you share with people. Yeah, that, that, oh, that makes sense. To me. Trust me. Yeah. I need two I, buddies Do I want to get one of those big bucks back there? That would be neat. Yeah. But if he calls, That's or you, you call, you I'm out. I, I'd leave at 7:30 on my stand. Trust me, it wouldn't even phase me. I told everybody that two years ago. They're like, "How'd you get that buck up in New York?" And I said, "I got a chase." 
Except for <laughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of an elevation difference oh. in New York than there is. Yeah, there. that was a lot of elevation there. Yeah, I never hung my head so well. Oh, he was so life. bad. He was so mad at me. I knew he was. <laughs> I knew he was. I, st- I still dad was that year. Whole, like, yeah. <laughs> whole way up his point, I still hunted in. Dad was below me to the right. I'm going up, going up, going up. Still hunting, having a good time. Here, wham! <laughs> you knew it, didn't I'm like, you? I'm like, Dad, was that you? Yeah, it was me. I'm like, <laughs> I just walked all the way up here. Yeah. Down he over I go. He pushed nah, I probably did, yeah. Down over I go, drug it out. This is where it gets even better, though. Drag it out for him. There's no self service up there. I mean, he got it and stuff. I drug it out, threw it in the truck. I'm like, all right, well, I said, I'll just hunt where you were hunting for right. the rest of the afternoon. This is supposed yeah. to be decent. I think I got halfway from the truck back up to where he was at, and it was like, oh, going yeah. soon. Yeah. And he's already gone, like out of radio yeah. service, no cell service. I'm like, oh. Soaked, it's pouring oh. out. Man, like, oh. God damn. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I <laughs> walked this mountain twice today. I do. It's so funny when people say something stupid like that. Like up in New York this year. Oh, there's, there's a, a big, big one. one. There's a big one on the top. Curdy. There's a big buck in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally what we're talking that's, about. You're talking that's about what you're saying, basically, 3, right? 3,000 acres. Yeah. Yeah. There's a big buck in that 3,000 acres. Curry, there. There's a big buck by your house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right time, right place. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is, man. That's crazy. Oh. Say, you have no control over that stuff. Man, if you had the time Again, and energy, wouldn't yeah. that be fun? I got, to hunt look up at there? that. I got cameras. Uh, you know, we are tree hunted. I, I tell you guys what we've seen. I show you the sign, but come tomorrow morning, right. you have no control over yeah. 15 Perfect. guys walking in. Yeah. Or, no. You know what I mean? No, no. you don't. You're 100% right. It is. it is opening day of PA rifle season down here in the Allegheny Forest. Uh, I'm here with my cousins. Everybody's going different directions this year. We got seven of us at camp. I got about eight tenths of a mile walk out, so I'm at my spot. Got the truck parked, got my backpack all ready to go. And uh, I'm going to get out in the woods. We'll see you there. been a pretty eventful morning. I uh, had a hunter up top drive a doe down just before 8 o'clock this morning and then a couple minutes later I had five doe uh, walk right along the edge of this steep face right here and uh, I realized I was just a bit too close to the trail and the lead doe got my wind at only about eight yards away and took off running and then uh, about 9 30 I'm standing up sitting down back and forth and I'm sitting down and all of a sudden I hear something behind me and there's an eight point buck 12 yards behind me, had me pegged. Um, I was sitting with my back to him, there's nothing I could do. Um, I tried to slowly turn to get my gun up and get a shot and he pounded off. So <laughs> I was standing up literally two minutes earlier and if that would have been the case, he would have walked in, he would have been a dead deer. But 
it's the way it keeps going this year man i keep grinding and i keep having these mishaps but <laughs> what are you gonna do so i'm gonna take a little walk right now and i need to find a more ideal place to sit on the edge of these two benches right here because right now i'm just super close like eight yards off the trail and uh, it's not going to work so I'm going to gather my stuff up and I'm going to slowly walk and see if I can find a much better place to sit um, maybe later this afternoon but definitely tomorrow morning. Oh, that was a good morning. 13 doe, three buck. Saw a shooter, <laughs> came in behind me and surprised me. I didn't get a shot, but I found a place that's much better to sit tomorrow morning. And man, that trail is super heavy. So I'm excited to go back to camp, relax with the boys, have a good evening, come back out again in the morning. I was standing and I kept getting sore. So I'd sit down for a couple minutes. So I went ahead. So sat down and I'm doing this and I hear and I turn around and look and he's 15 yards away, nose to the ground, walking and I'm like this, I, you know, hand. if I was left, left handed, it would have been great. But right handed, I'm like, oh shit. Okay, his head goes behind a tree. I'm going to do this. His head went behind a tree and I got this far and now he's out in the opening right here in front of me. And I'm smiling. How are you doing? Yeah. And he's looking at me going, what the f am I gonna do? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my body real quick. When he runs away, I'm gonna get a shot. Because he was that freaking close, right? Mm -hmm. He went ahead and I turned and he jumped and I lifted my scope on. It was still 9X. <laughs> I was That's like, <laughs> wow. I was like, oh my God. He was right, he was eight yards. Here's me and Jason. Oh, hey, standing broadside to me, looking at me like this and nothing I could do. How about you guys? I could have shot an eight point multiple times. Dad, one foot to my left, could not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I stood there with my binoculars like this against the tree, going, basically doing what you did to me. Shoot, shoot, he's legal, shoot. And he's straining, and I'm watching his barrel was 308, like right by my head. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it, because I'm like, he's got to be able to see it, because his head's like right here, right. and he could not see this thing. Oh. And it, we're just like, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then the lead doe got spooked by, I think, another guy. Uh -huh. took, him, took him with him. <laughs> it was a long, it would have been a long shot. But. Yeah. Just before daylight, I'm sitting on this log that I'm sitting on in there. There's gear right to my left and just, just below me 40 yards. Milling through there, just milling and feeding. And, you know, I'm just waiting for it to be daylight. Right. be standing right there come daylight. Yeah. You know? Just when you should be able to start to see and shoot, off the trail comes these guys with <laughs> headlights, you know, and and I'm like, and I, and I can hear the deer just walking away. They yep. didn't run; they just walked, right? Just walked away, and then so there was a couple of them, and there was one guy down below, and I think they were all together. One guy sees me, and the other guy keeps going straight, and the other guy sees me, and then he goes up to this table rock, which is a stupid spot, nobody's on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he, so I, for 20 minutes, hear him moving around up here in this laurel, and, okay. And like you so said, it's that, light by then. Oh yeah, yeah. it's light. It's, it's the perfect time in their movement. They're still mm -hmm. walking, they're still learning, they're not settled. So, about an hour and a half goes by, two hours go by, oh. and the one guy that went in there, he walks out. It's nine o'clock. He's done hunting. He went up. He walked up. And then, about nine thirty, the guy that was down below me comes crashing out of the bottom. Not trying to be quiet. Not nothing. Just like coming up. So he gets up to the to the main trail. 
And he's got a radio. He's talking about, where are you at? Oh, where are you at? <laughs> so then he goes up to the table rock and he mills around for and he comes back down. Where are you at? And I said to him, I said, he, yeah, he got close enough that I could, I could talk to the guy. I'm like, are you lost? No, I'm all right. And then so he like goes out of sight for a little bit. And then I hear a shot, one shot over the, and then he comes crushing back in. Where are you at? I'm like, literally, for the next hour and a half, walked around me, couldn't find this guy that he was looking for. Oh. Blowing whistles, hollering. <laughs> I'm like, and I text Sean, I text Sean, am I allowed to shoot asshole? <laughs> <laughs> The best thing for the economy up here was when 15, 20 years ago, you had two weeks of box season, yep. and then you had doe season Three come days. in, you'd have everybody come back up for right. doe season, right. yeah. and it just boomed. And That's when all season. your bars were open, right. all, yep. you know. Those were Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So you have a full weekend mm -hmm. of guys yeah. coming back up, yep. looking for their place to hunt. Yep. Yep. That's when it yep. boomed. Yep. Came up across a guy with a four point. Yeah. Yeah, he said it was barely legal. I said, no, it's not legal, Lake, but okay. <laughs> Enjoy your Miller Lite. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Really? Did he say anything in response? No, I, I didn't say that to him. Oh, he's right. like, oh, he, he's called it some name. I, I can't remember what he said, but it was like a peg buck. Or he said something stupid, like didn't make any sense. He's like, yeah, I shot this one, peg, peg buck, barely legal. I looked at it on the rack. I'm like, well, it's not legal. It's not legal, legal but okay. <laughs> he's just drinking his Miller Lite. I don't know. Like the last time he was here, he was, he was watching this little four point or something like that. It wasn't a legal buck. Guy shot it right in front of him. Walks over, starts cleaning it. When he walked over, this is four point. Guy said, like, mind your own business. Yeah, he didn't care. So, and all, them guys were all walking at me. And I'm watching this buck mm. come up in front of him. There's three guys walking shoulder to shoulder. Mm, I do remember and They're that. pushing this buck right at me. And I'm like, why are these guys not shooting? I'm scoping this buck, like trying to keep the guys out of my scope. I'm like, why are they not shooting? It's a five point. <clears throat> they're not shooting, they're not shooting. I go, wham! I lay one out. I missed it, obviously. That's oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they came up to me, what are you shooting at that buck for? I'm like, it was a five point. I said, I don't know what. They're like, we watched that the whole way up. And I'm like, it's, it was 100% legal, no doubt in my mind. They, they like gave me shit. And I'm like, they could have killed it 10 times. Not me, man. I sent it three counties over. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ain't going to kill it, neither. If I'm not going to kill it, neither you got it. That's funny. <laughs> three counties <laughs> over. Second morning, a PA rifle season. Had a pretty eventful morning yesterday. Uh, I ended up seeing three buck and 12 doe. Deer were still moving until about 12.15. Uh, just sitting on a bench, which is a huge trail that the deer are using quite a bit. So I'm hoping to see as much today. And uh, that eight point I had come in surprised me from behind yesterday. I'm hoping I get another shooter buck come in today. I think I'm in a much better spot today. Uh, yesterday I knew where I was going within about 20 yards, but still kind of went in blind the exact spot. But before I left yesterday, I found a real solid spot. I'm going to sit on top of a big rock this morning. And I got a great view, 360 degrees. So... I'm going to get in there, get sat down, get some clothes on, get warmed up.
whole bunch of dough all walked past me like a parade. And they were 15 yards away and I had no clue I was sitting here on this rock. Hopefully, the buck's gonna follow along in their same path here in the next half hour or so. That'd be nice. Well, didn't see as much action as yesterday. I only saw doe um, in one huge group, uh, nine doe all together in a group. It was cool to see, but didn't see any buck this morning, didn't see any chasing this morning. So uh, I'm gonna head back to the truck and uh, decide what the plan is. Great weekend again with the cousins. Enjoyed them allowing me to come down to camp, stay with them, hunt, relax, sit around the campfire, have some beers and tell stories. Look forward to doing it again next year. Hey guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Telling you guys to have a great day. See ya.